Okay, so um, tonight I'll tell you a bit about Elrond, world's first high throughput blockchain platform implementing adaptive state sharding and secure proof of stake. Elrond is basically a complete rethinking of public blockchain architecture, which is especially designed to be secure, efficient, scalable, and interoperable. And the idea is that with Elrond we are focusing to solve three important problems. The first one is scalability. And at Elrond we are tackling the heart of the scalability problem by attempting to bring a three orders of magnitude improvement compared to the current implementations we see in Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the important part is that we aim for 10,000 transactions per second minimal latency and negligible fees. So why scalability, you might ask? Um, for And I think this is really, really important in the blockchain space right now. For any meaningful adoption to happen, scalability really needs to be solved. And real world use cases require far more than the 10 to 12 transactions per second we see in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So once scalability is solved, Elrond will enable new frontiers for uh, decentralized applications to build on. So how do we solve the scalability problem? Well, we implement a mechanism called adaptive state sharding, which basically partitions the network into smaller networks, effectively allowing for um, transaction parallelizing. Uh, the, the next important problem we are tackling, which any kind of architecture that wants to scale will have to face, is the efficiency and sustainability problem. And to tackle this, we introduce a new consensus mechanism called Secure Proof of Stake, which is based on three core features. The, the main idea is that in order to scale, especially scale globally, you will have to tackle the problems that come with proof-of-work architectures. And this is why we introduce secure proof-of-stake, because on the one hand we eliminate the energy and computational waste problem, and then on the other hand we add an additional security layer in order to allow for random consensus group selection. The third and Another important uh, aspect of Elrond is that we design Elrond to be EVM compliant. That is, it will be compliant with the Ethereum virtual machine. And an, an important way to how we will approach the market, I think there's three paths here. The utility path, where we will create um, an interesting and very uh, incentivized ecosystem for decentralized applications to build on Elrond and some of the uh, applications we will focus on at first will be uh, decentralized exchanges and games. The second path will be the payment path where we will make sure that Elrond will be accepted as a viable means of payment in both online and offline settings and the third part will be an experiment which to which we want to make Elrond a really robust store of value through the economic models we can implement and design from scratch. A very important aspect about the, the project is our team. We have had uh, and have helped created several projects in the blockchain space. Uh, I've been part of the NEM core team, a project that is uh, a billion dollar project in the blockchain space have tackled, tackled some of the problems. We have a very technical team, both coming from academic backgrounds and with first-hand experience tackling some of these problems, as well as uh, people who have had real uh, experience with other startups. Another important aspect is that we are working with uh, some key people that will help and guide us through some of the problems, especially on uh, technical matters and uh, legal matters as well as business matters. These people come from Ethereum, Next, City of Zion, Techstars, uh, some universities, and Fitbit. They are a good addition to, to our team. Uh, the roadmap, 
you can see that um, we've released uh, a very technical white paper which is public right now and are focusing to execute and have a fully featured testnet by okay. the end of Q4. Start, finish up. Okay. And uh, most important is we also have a working prototype which we are currently testing. So thanks and glad to tell you more.